Uh, what's wrong with the blacks? Oh, man. Uh, your program is not long enough. <laughs> so yesterday I was on R- Rashad Ricky's show. He called himself a doctor, but I have no idea what kind of doctor he is or if that's true or not. Here is what happened yesterday on Dr. Rashi, Rashad Ricky's show from the Turk, Young Turks Network. Watch this. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the bullpen. In the bullpen today, I have a conservative radio talk personality, TV host, extreme conservative, and he's proud of it, <laughs> Pastor Jesse Lee Peterson, founder and president of Bond, B-O-N-D, and host of JLP Show and The Fallen State. Um, Pastor Peterson, good day. Welcome to Indisputable. Thank you for having me on. I appreciate it. Sir, you all have a celebration coming up next month. Um, are you not the founder of um, White History Month, I think, which starts in July? Yeah, we're going to be celebrating our fourth year of White History Month mm-hmm. in July. And the, and the reason that we started it in July is because if you notice, July just feels white. Yeah. You know, it's, it's summertime, vacation time, relaxing uh-huh. time, reflecting time, and appreciating the yeah. greatest country on this side of heaven. Gotcha. And uh, so we are recognizing that and showing our appreciation for it. I think it's important for people to know um, you're not a comedian. Uh, what you're <laughs> saying, right, what you're saying, this is actually you. You do this. Um, you did You did found. You're the founder of White History Month. Yes. Uh, you've also been very critical of Juneteenth. You have called it a fake holiday. Uh, but you are... Um, you want to make sure that everyone supports White History Month. I do, want, I do want to have a policy discussion with you about the George Floyd Policing and Accountability Act. I'm going to attempt to have that policy discussion with you. Uh, do you agree or disagree with the George Floyd Policing and Accountability Act? I totally disagree because, as we all know, George Floyd was a, a black, unemployed, drug addict uh, with a criminal record. Mm. And I just okay. See- uh, let, let's let's first of all let's clear something up, sir. Um, you really should be ashamed of yourself. <laughs> you call yourself a Christian pastor. <laughs> George Floyd is dead. It's his fault. He's he's <laughs> dead because a cop killed him. No, now, my he's question, dead because my he was a drug addict. To you, my question to you, and that's ad, that's adverse to the evidence, by the way, what you just said. My question to you was about policy. So let me ask you, what in the policy of the George Floyd Policing Act do you disagree with? The whole idea. What Which really need- part of the policy, Jesse? Blaming the cops and no responsibility Jesse, for the I'm asking blacks. you, what part of the policy is written? You can find it at congress.gov. What part of the policy, sir, do you disagree with? This is a simple question. I disagree with the whole idea of a policy. You haven't read the policy. You haven't even read the damn policy. Come on, Jesse. I don't need to read it. I don't need to read it to know the truth because what I've noticed is that black people today, due to their lack of love, their lack of believing in God, Mm -hmm. they love evil more than they love good, right? So that's the reason why you don't read. And so the fact, that's the reason why you don't read. Right, because we're written by no good black people. And why should I waste my time knowing what they're about? Black folks today, and not all, not all, not all, but most, have no sense of direction. They are blaming mm. everybody but themselves. And until they take responsibility for their own lives, uh, they are not going to get better. The now, real truth blame, is, let me ask George you, sir. Floyd is dead you because blame, of George Floyd that, and no one a, else. That's a ridiculous point. But do you blame yourself for not reading the policy, or you blame somebody else? Why should I read the policy when I already know the people? They're you don't even know what's in the policy, do you? In, I don't need to know. don't want to know. I know the people who are writing it. They are no good. Okay. Uh, let's talk about Black Lives Matter. Uh, th- this is probably going to end up being an utter waste of my time having you on the show. Uh, do you... 
oh, what are your thoughts about you black don't know lives that matter? you may learn something <laughs> well, well we'll see uh preacher uh what it's, what's about what is it about black lives matter uh that you disagree with fundamentally black lives matter was founded by a bunch of fat black radical lesbians okay and who All hate right, have god a good, get this clown off my show i appreciate who you Thank hate you god who hate Thank the you, nuclear sir. family yeah listen for those of you who wanted me to continue to engage that clown on this show i'm sorry i just couldn't do it i'm only a human being so please forgive me okay all right um here's what we'll do for the rest of the show um i will read some comments and and i know some of you will say oh rashad that was just so rude and and yeah uh, Malia, are you a feminist? Okay. Yeah. You are a feminist. And what is a yeah. feminist? When you say you're a feminist, what does that mean? Equal rights to me. That's what it means to me. Equal rights? Yeah, I like rights. And like, I don't think you should be forced into like a certain sort of person as like what matter like gender you have. What do you mean by that? Like you're saying that women belongs in the kitchen. I don't think that necessarily have to be that way. I think people should be born and be able to do whatever they want. Oh, that okay. sounds like more fun to me. That's more fun. You're just all about fun. Yeah, isn't that what life is about? No? No. <laughs> <laughs> when you say having fun, what do you mean? Like travel, experiencing things, like doing psychedelic drugs is fun for me. Like painting, streaming, meeting people is fun. Yeah. Did you say doing drugs? Yeah, it's fun. And what type of drugs do you do? Like mushrooms. Do you really? Yeah. And, Have you? and and why? No. Why do you do them? Because it's fun. You're What's missing fun? out. I'm yeah, sorry? you should. You should do them. You should do, it and you will see it's fun. But I don't need to. I have peace. But I mean, sure. But don't you want a little bit more peace by having some psychedelic mushrooms? <laughs> Amazing. Like, imagine, like maybe your life is fun. But maybe sometimes you go on roller coasters to make it even more fun sometimes. That's like that. amazing. Uh, Nicki Minaj or Cardi B? Nicki Minaj or Cardi B for what? Is climate change a lie? No. Uh, do white Europeans deserve reparations from the, from, from the North Africans who enslaved them? What? <laughs> do white Europeans deserve reparations from Not, the North that Africans? That what was my answer. Skip to the oh, next question. <laughs> Should illegal aliens get free health care? They're not illegal, and yes. I'm sorry? They're not illegal. No human being is illegal, and yes. Do you love white people? I love people. Do you love white people? Um, I think there are white people who I love, yes. I think that as, a, as somebody who's invested in the, in the liberation of folks, I know that I have a love for people. I love white folks, Latinx folks. Black do you folks, love white cetera. people? Quickly as possible. Sure, yeah. Uh, do you love the great white hope? What is the great white hope? The president, Donald Trump. No. The great white hope. Absolutely not. You don't love the great white hope? No. Um, and you a Christian? Well, why would I love a man who has harmed everybody? <laughs> we don't have time to get into that. Should black people vote for Joe Biden? Black people should vote. How about for Joe Biden? Black people should vote. Would you vote for Joe Biden? Black people should vote. Would I you, will vote. Would you vote for the Great White Hope? Absolutely not. Amazing. Do you believe that Jeffrey Epstein killed himself? I, that's not my business. Would you rather be poor in a socialist system or rich in a capitalist system? Uh, the issue is that with socialism, people aren't normally poor. So which one would you rather be? Poor in a socialist system or rich in a capitalist system? I would rather be in a socialist system. Which historical figure do you admire most, the most? Huey P. Newton. Who? Huey P. Newton. Oh. Are you married? Yes. Are you the head of your wife? Excuse me? Are you the head of your wife? What do you mean, am I the head of my wife? Are you the head of your wife? I, I don't know what that means. Did you have fun? What? Did you have fun? Fun with what? Right here. With this interview? Uh -huh. I mean, it, it was, it was, um, 
upsetting and I think at some points, right, like insulting. Um, but it was cool. Good dialogue. Amazing. Thanks for taking the high seat, man. Thank you for coming. Is there, is there anything you want to promote, put out there for the folks? I'm good. Thank you for coming, man. That was amazing. All right. Amazing. And don't forget to like, follow, tweet, subscribe, and share the Jesse Lee Peterson radio show, folks. We really appreciate it. We are at war. It is a spiritual battle for the soul of America. And it's going to take all of us to do it. 